Information now on the death of an 80-year-old Sarasota County woman found in an alligator-infested pond near a local country club. Today, the medical examiner's report makes it official. The retiree died as a direct result of that alligator attack. News Channel 8's Annie Mapp has the latest now from Inglewood. The medical examiner's office has officially ruled that 80-year-old Rose Wigan's death was due to an alligator attack. That means the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is now the lead agency in this investigation. When you hear things like that, it's, it's always terrible. Wigan suffered from a dislocated neck and bruised spinal cord. The medical examiner's office ruled her death accidental. Witnesses say they saw her struggling to stay afloat after falling into the pond. Investigators suspect that while she was in the water, two alligators attacked the 80-year-old woman, pulling her under. I mean, it's pretty horrible. It's, it's kind of shocking to think that that could actually happen. Trappers caught the two suspected alligators set to be 8 feet 10 inches and 7 feet 7 inches each. Boca Royale resident John Whitworth says he plans to stay extra careful following the tragedy. It certainly don't want anything like that to happen to any other folks that are here and they just need to uh, stay away from from the uh, lagoons, you know, if they see an alligator. We reached out to Fish and Wildlife investigators regarding the alligator population, but they are not commenting at this time. Reporting in Sarasota County, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.